this up as you go along. Yeah? Full throttle, no brakes. She's never done this. Stay down. What do we have? The girl was last seen getting into his car. His prints were all over the beer cans. That's it? He was arrested three years ago on the same charge. He tried to abduct a 15-year-old girl at knife point, but the charges were eventually dropped. Kick him. What? We've got nothing to arrest him on. I'm not kicking him. You cannot he hold the suspect without no, evidence. I can't kick make it. that stick. You tell her parents. You tell the judge to weigh probable cause. Such loud voices. Shut up. Uh, I have to see my client. Looks like the news is good. I want to give him a polygraph. Jimmy, I'm shocked. The man may have killed a 16-year-old girl. No polygraph. And I don't want you even talking to him. I'm sure Jenny will tell you. Well, until then, what? Until then, lock your doors. Beautiful country. Man can get lost out here. Forget there's people and things that ain't so simple as this. How long have we been riding together, Charlie? Nigh on 10 years. Mm -hmm. You know what to call that? Call it a decade. Oh, man, she sat in that jailhouse, sort of sneering, sticks in my craw. Old town knows there's a fight coming. They just hope it don't spill over to them. Baxter's men bushwhacked our friend, shot him dead, shot a 16-year-old boy, too, and clubbed him so hard, he might not live. I got no problem with killing boss. Never have. Men are gonna get killed here today soon. And I'm gonna kill them. The man's got a right to protect his property and his life. And we ain't letting no rancher or his lawman take either.
exactly what kind of work do you do here? I do genetic research. I didn't do the intro to the story. Is this dog an innocent victim? And this doggy, Max! I want Max back. We're not talking about a street mud here. We are talking about a million dollar research animal. Thank you, Max. Sweet. See, Max is not your typical dog. He's a genetic crossbreed. Get him, Max! Sit up. Enhanced sight, hearing, strength, stamina. The ability to climb with jaguar-like agility. Even a chameleon-like capability to camouflage itself if threat. But in the right hands, Max can save thousands of lives. In the wrong hands, he can be a deadly weapon. You're in big trouble. He's coming apart. He is gonna sneak. I own her. Harriet Tubman. <laughs> I'd like to see them fight as a pair. <laughs> Kill me, Spartacus. Give the Romans what they want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Time to help history along. Give it a push where it's needed. When the Omni's red, it means history's wrong. Our job is to get everything back on track. Ladies and gentlemen, the story you are about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. This is the city. Los Angeles, California. I work here. I'm a cop. It was Tuesday, April 7th. It was cold in Los Angeles. We were working the day watch out of Accident Investigation Division hit and run felony unit. My partner's Frank Smith. The boss is Captain Calfee. My name's Friday. A young woman had been run down and seriously injured. The driver of the car had escaped into the city. We had to try to find him. A family, a home. They're waiting for you. I know, I know, I know. I know all about Elliot Carson. You've said it all endlessly. Allison, can't you understand? Can't you understand? I just want to be left alone. In the role that launched his career. Glad to know you. My name is Josh Randall. I know you, Mr. Randall. You won't kill me in cold blood. You move an inch without me telling you to, Mr. And I'll empty the sink. You're not an officer of the law, are you? No, I bring back wanted men for the reward on their head. Listen, ma'am, you don't be quiet. I'm going to put you on out of here. You understand that? Celery, and celery. Now, yeah. basically, you can go with any kind of yeah. veggies you, you, you feel like. You can Japanese eggplant, maybe anything. Exactly. That's, this is our okay. meat, our mixture of meat. Yeah. I didn't even say yeah. anything. I saw you. <laughs> basically, it's all pork, though. It's okay, it's, um, it's smoked ham, Portuguese sausage, and char siu. Oh. Got to be Portuguese you know, sausage. So in there, right? It's got all the different flavors <laughs> in there. Nice. Oh. Basically, nice. you just want to caramelize, yeah. let the flavors develop a little bit. Sweat them out, right, baby? Sweat them out. 
That's nice. Now, you grew up on this island? I did, all my life, yeah. Have you traveled yeah. around, cooked in other places? or uh, I know it's been 13 years. A little bit, place. a little bit, but not too much. Yeah, I haven't left the rock too much on occasion. Okay. You know. So basically, you got all your um, experience here, and, yeah. and you're utilizing all that exactly. every day, which is great. Yeah. Which is great. Oh, that smells good. Mm. And a little bit of kimchi. Kimchi. There you go. Y'all like kimchi, right? Yeah. I went out with her in high school. You know. <laughs> You're a nice girl, you know what I mean? A little spicy. A little spicy. Now our rice. Our rice is a mixture of, oh, uh, okay. we use white and brown rice and everything. Okay, I see. And, and is this uh, over years of, of uh, making it this way or just? Yeah. Very nice. Well, there you have it. What well, a big round of applause for Chef Dennis Frank from the Big City Diner. Let's pull these pan back and put these bad boys up front here so everybody can see. Don't worry, y'all. You're all going to get some after this break. The previous segment was brought to you by Aloha Shoyu. Taste the flavors of Aloha. Wake up, wake up. It's a brand new day. Gotta get our crew together. Get them on their way.